Welcome to downtown Columbus, Ohio. We are inside Nationwide Arena, where tonight we bring you the 2016 Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition. Along with Karch Karai and Landrum Roberts, and coach, tonight, not only will we showcase the top talent from across the country, we'll get a sneak peek at the future stars of the collegiate game. And we've seen plenty of evidence from this event in years past and the players that it's produced. And maybe the future beyond the college game, but certainly just an example in the semifinals of the NCAA tournament, the four teams had 25 players who competed in the high school All-American game. So it's really the who's who of the college recruit system. And really, this event carts every single year. It's not so much strategy, it's all about having fun. Absolutely, and figuring out with only one or two practices to get ready how to have fun and click a little as a team. That's a skill that you want to build as a volleyball player. All right, when we come back, we'll meet the members of Team East and Team West. It's a 2016 Under Armour all-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition here on CBS Sports Network. Under Armour Volleyball All-America Match and Skills Competition on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Bodden, the official court volleyball of the AVCA. Welcome back to Columbus, Ohio. It's the 2016 Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition here inside Nationwide Arena. The crowd's still filing in, and now it's time to meet the members of Team East. Hi, I'm Gabby Curry. I'm from Beaufort, Georgia. I'm a libero, and I'm going to the University of Kentucky. Go Cats! Hi, I'm Lauren Whitty from Menor, Ohio. I'm a middle blocker, and I'm committed to Ohio State University. Go Bucks! Hi, I'm Paige Hammonds. I'm from Mobile, Kentucky. I'm an outside hitter, and I'm going to the University of Florida. Go Gators! Hi, I'm Meredith Norris. I'm from Corona, Michigan. I'm an outside hitter. I'm going to Michigan State University. Go Spartans! I'm Sydney Hilly. I'm a setter from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, and I'm committed to the University of Wisconsin. Go Badgers! Hi, I'm Ashley Shook. I'm a setter from Plainfield, Illinois, and I'm going to the University of Texas. Hook em. I'm Megan Neilon. I'm a setter from Clarence, New York, and I'm committed to the University of Alabama. Roll Tide! Hi, I'm Chester McClellan, a middle blocker from Knox Tennessee and I'm going to the University of Nebraska. Go Big Red. Hi, I'm Taryn Canoe. I'm from Johnson, Iowa. I'm a metal blocker and I'm going to Florida State University. Go Knowles. Hi, I'm Stephanie Samity from Claremont, Florida. I'm an opposite and I'm going to the University of Minnesota. Go Gophers. Hi, I'm Grace Slowberg. I'm an outside from Geneva, Illinois and I'm going to the University of Wisconsin. Go Badgers. Hi, I'm Ayanna Swan from Richmond, Virginia. I'm an outside hater and I'm committed to the Ohio State University. Go Bucks. There is a head coach for Team East, Jenny Case out of Ursuline Academy, south of here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now let's meet the members of Team West. My name's Jamie Cox, I'm from Oregon, Ohio. I'm a libero and I'm going to Michigan State. Go Green. Hi, I'm Madison Lilly. I'm from Overland Park, Kansas. I'm a setter and I'm going to University of Kentucky. Go Cats. Hi, I'm Callie Williams. I'm from Waco, Texas. I'm a setter and I'm going to the University of Tennessee. Go Bulls. Hi, my name is Taylor Ballard. I'm from Clovis, California. I'm an outside hitter and I'm going to BYU. Go Cougs. Hi, I'm Jenny Moser. I'm from Lakeville, Minnesota. I'm an outside hitter and I'm going to UCLA. Go Bruins. Hi, my name is Lexi Sun and I'm an outside hitter from Solana Beach, California. I'm going to the University of Texas. Hook em. Hi, I'm Yasiana Presley. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm an outside hitter and I'm committed to Baylor University. Sick em. Hi, my name is Jazz Sweet. I'm from Tecumseh, Kansas. I'm a right side hitter and I'm going to the University of Nebraska. Go Big Red. Hi, I'm Brooke Bakken. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm an outside hitter and I'm committed to the University of Southern California. Fight on. Hi, I'm McKenna Patterson from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm a middle blocker and I'm going to Texas A&M. Gig em. Hi, I'm Lauren Sanders. I'm a middle blocker from Snohomish, Washington and I'm going to the University of Washington. Go dogs. Hi, I'm Samantha Drexel, and I'm from Bothell, Washington. I'm an outside hitter, and I'm going to University of Maryland. Go Terps. And there's the head coach for Team West, Jan Barker, out of Amarillo High School in Amarillo, Texas. 30 years at the helm there. And here are our officials for tonight's event. Josh Hall, Diane Hood, Brian Satterfield, and Shelly Frew. All right, Team West starts us out wearing the black Under Armour uniforms. Team East in the white. Jenny Moser. Come on, come on. Sir. Ball falling out of bounds. And it's a point. 
for Team East. Ayanna Swan now to serve out of Godwin High School, Richmond, Virginia. She's gonna play right here in Columbus. And the West answering. We'll play three sets here tonight, Coach. Back to serve here to West number 24, Lauren Sanders. Lauren Sanders out of Glacier Peak High School in Washington. She's committed to the Huskies. Sharp wide. Stayed by Barrow, Gabby Curry. You're right, Gabby Curry covering lots of ground, both on serve receive and on defense, and that's something you want from a good libero, as you, uh, especially as that position is being more and more highly valued in college programs. In fact, some are even giving two scholarships to those and staggering them. Curry out of Buford High School, Buford, Georgia. She's going to play at the University of Kentucky. Comes from a very athletic family. Her father, Buddy, eight years in the NFL for the Atlanta Falcons as a middle linebacker. And going to a nice football conference <laughs> in, the, in the SEC. Six players here tonight will be attending SEC schools next season. Topped only by the Big Ten, which seems to be getting richer here with 10 players in this star-studded event. It's interesting, Garch, how this event changes from year to year. Last year, we were very heavy on Pac-12 players. With four from Stanford who are now all in the NCAA tournament. Uh, one, of them, one of us are calling him. Uh, they have a fifth-year senior, Inky Ajanaku, who also starred in this match. And then it's Inky and the Inkettes. He's got the four freshmen who were all a part of this game last year, and now they're contending for a national title. Nice dig that time by Ashley Shook. Travels long by Lexi's son. Some nice hustle in the backcourt. Nice. nice hustle on the cover by Jamie Cox. On the block there in the middle. Lauren Woody out of Lake Catholic High School. Take a look at it again. Yeah, and one of the things you're going to see is just things are a little, yeah, what a nice cover by Cox there. I like that hustle, but the, so far what you're seeing is the defense has the advantage. It's really hard to get that offense going with. The more important thing is what kind of a center connection can we develop? And that's really hard in their limited preparation for this event. So you see the block really taking over. Witty, once again, strong at the net. A nice hit by Samantha Drexel, of Cedar Park Christian. In Washington, she's going to play for Maryland. Which is an up and coming team, one of the latest additions, of course, to the Big Ten. And uh, they started really giving a very strong conference, lots of problems in, in the conference play this year. A net violation on Team East. Team West serving, trailing by two here in set number one. That last play where we had a net from setter Ashley Shook for, uh, for Team East in right, going committed to Texas. They've got some very high hits for her. 
Nice dig that time by Jamie Cox. Really like the hustle. College cannot receive the ball past that center line. This ball goes over and out, and still she's sticking with it. Yasiana Presley doing, you gotta love seeing that kind of effort if you're a recruiter or a coach. Son, able to save it. Keep it alive for Team West. Oh, a strong hit by Stephanie Samady, East Ridge High School, Claremont, Florida. She's going to play for Minnesota, another Big Ten school. Wow, bringing some heat there, too, and set her doing a nice job of mixing up where she gets to attack inside the sideline that time. Coach Hugh McCutcheon will be excited to add her to his roster next season. And a strong block, Gassiano Presley. Team West. Jamie Cox serving. Libero. The attending Michigan State. That would be an example of the challenge of this match. Some real hesitation there as they are still learning each other's names so they can call the right person. Yasiana Presley's hit travels out of bounds. So far I'm impressed with how uh, ready the t both teams are staying because they know there's going to be a lot of blocking. And hitters coming back and we call that hitter coverage when you help your own hitter out. When the ball gets blocked, it's heading to the floor and you keep it alive. Samantha Drexel with the kill. One of my favorite names this year. Now in the game, Jazz Sweet. Number of Team West. Jazz wearing number 21. There she is. Yeah, when she uh, looks on the standby list on the airplane, it's Sweet <laughs> Jazz. <laughs> Back. Backwards with the last name first. And an instant impact yeah. as she checks in. And a point awarded to Team West. The give credit there at the net to Yana Swan. I like what both setters are doing. They're taking some chances. You talked about it at the start. They should be having some fun, trying some things that might not necessarily be easy to do because they've had so little time to practice. That last ball, a nice slide play. Trying something there that didn't work, and they'll figure it out as they go. Lexi Sun with a kill. Gabby Curry couldn't handle it. Yeah, another Texas recruit. They are really high on those two with uh, Setter Shook across the net playing against each other before they get to Texas. Jarrett Elliott guy, he does a pretty good job finding talent. Yeah, a reasonable job in eight of the last nine national semifinals in the NCAA tournament. Some bit of consistency there. Jenny Moser serving. Oh, too close. Moser out of Lakeville South High School. Yeah, when you have somebody like Lauren Sanders across the net, she's going to Washington, of course, but at 6'5", you don't want to get the ball anywhere near her if you can avoid it. That's a nice serve. Jazz sweep. Unable to convert. Here, nice effort. Great effort by Team East. Yeah, McClellan was all over that pass. Sweet with another try and denied. That's quite a pair there with, with Hammonds. Chesney, McClellan, and McClellan. Those two are putting up a nice block. 
fell in reaching that left hand in. I like how she was getting, even if her body's not quite there, she's able to get her hands in and impose herself on the opposing hitter. That's what middle blockers want to do. Leona Swan serve into the net. Ooh. Just a bit wide there. Team West returns the favor. Competitive first set. Lexi Sun just wide on that attempt. All right, well, it's a close one here in set one of the 2016 Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition from Columbus, Ohio, here on CBS Sports Network. Welcome back to Nationwide Arena. You get a good look downtown Columbus, Ohio. Team East serving, leading by two here in set one. All-America match. Lexi Sun with a kill. It's taken Lexi and her setter a while to get a connection, but she did so there. The timing looked good, and she had a lot of room to hit inside the block. Swinging cross court with the middle reach the other way. Wasn't a whole lot that Chesney McClellan could do with that, though. No. Callie Williams from Midway High School, Waco, Texas. She's going to be playing at Tennessee. She serves for the West. It's a point for Team West, one that Gabby Curry would like to have back. Yeah, that would be an example of uh, a team that only has to, about 36 hours to work together. Not a lot of communication there. They weren't able to clarify who needs to play that ball. Good save, Paige Hammonds, Team East. And on the other side of the net, Samantha Drexel with the kill. And that's a nicely executed set for sure. When you get just one walker up at the net, good things happen for the hitter. Nice block by Patterson. Ooh, finesse. She had the kill moments ago, and then she shows the touch there, coach. Yeah, and, and Kelly Williams, the setter, number 10 for the team. West and left is just putting up, that's what most of a setter's job, is just put put up something good. It doesn't have to be great. And let the hitter do the work. That's what she's doing a nice job of so far. Lexi Sun getting comfortable now. Team West has rallied to take a three-point lead here in set number one. Callie Williams serving for Team West. One of six players in this event heading to the Southeastern Conference to play volleyball next season. Hitting the antenna that came off 
the hand of Ashley Shook. Trying to thread the needle between, and there wasn't much space between the wing block unless she's on that antenna. Nice dig, then a nice block. H. Hammonds. Hammonds, she's going to be a Gator. 6-2, outside player, heading to Florida. Nice shot by Samantha Drexel. And if you're trying to win, that's not a bad strategy because these teams probably don't have a whole lot of coordination on who is responsible for what in terms of the off-speed shot, the roll shot, the tip. So when in doubt, put it over the block and make them play it. Just a couple of practices yeah. for these teams leading up to this match here tonight. Nice touch off the block. Callie Williams. She's been First of all, trusting her hitters a lot, and then once she's got the blockers thinking about which way she's going to set, she puts it over on two. The kind bounce off the net for Lexi Sun. Really having a nice first set. Son will serve. Stop on Son. Nice save. Son again. Nice connection that Kelly Williams is establishing with all of her hitters quickly, whether it's a front row or back row, quick or out to the sidelines. Ashley Shook unable to get that one to go. Several years ago, our USA staff actually coached a under 23, a U23 team, and we had some younger, much younger players on that team, including Lexi Sun. She's showing us the same thing she showed a few years ago. That's a deadly service crossing. She's tall, she jumps well, so she's hitting that very low across the net. Well, set number one goes to Team West. Here in the 2016 Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match in Skills Competition. We're back to Columbus in a moment. Welcome back to downtown Columbus, Ohio. A good look at the Scioto River. We're inside Nationwide Arena. It's the Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition. And this is part of the Skills Competition and the best setter. When you look at the rules, 30 seconds per competitor. You gotta put the ball through the hoop. One point for an outside set. Two points for the back set. And the high point total wins. And our first competitor, Yasiana Presley. And certainly the big challenge here is you got to keep your head and not let yourself get down. If you miss a couple, get, uh, this is a great chance to show a setter's resetting skills after mistakes. Ashley Shook then took her turn at the competition. She was followed by the West, Callie Williams. And last, but certainly not least, Sydney Hilly. And she got it done. She got on a roll, got in a rhythm. And in turn, she wins the best setter competition. She poses there with ABCA executive director to the left, Ms. Kathy DeBoer. When we come back, we'll play set number two. It's the Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition from beautiful Columbus, Ohio, here on CBS Sports Network. Welcome back to Columbus, Ohio. It's a 2016 Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match 
and Skills competition inside Nationwide Arena. Landra Roberts along with Karch Karai and now joined by a very special guest, Krista Dietzen. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Krista, of course, a two-time Olympian. You played in the London Games and you played for coach in Rio this past summer. That I did, yes. It's fun uh, being on this side of the table now and uh, yeah, watching some wonderful uh, athletes compete. Now you're officially retired. I am, yes. And enjoying uh, being a wife. Yes, being a wife, just bought a house and doing some normal things that, uh, you know, I've been put off for about the past eight years. Uh, all in good fun and all, uh, I'm very thankful for that opportunity, but I'm, I'm excited for what's next. I have to know, how much fun was it playing for the guy oh, sitting next to you? It was fantastic. You know, Karch, uh, he gives a very unique perspective because he's been in our shoes. And, uh, you know, we're just so thankful to have him as a coach and uh, for him to share his experiences, um, his trials, his victories uh, with us as a coach was uh, just very um, very rewarding to um, to have played for him, and we're, we're all very thankful for that. Karch, you had a very good See how player, I slipped right? through a 20 yeah. or two? To I noticed that. Get her to say some nice things. That's very kind of you, Krista, and uh, thanks for joining us. It's so fun to me. I was asking you before, this game did not exist, this high school All-American game, when you were a high school senior. Yes, uh, I, I believe it began, uh, if I'm thinking correctly, I think about 2009, and what a fantastic way to bring the high school, uh, the high school girls, and to bring them to this high-level competition, the best high school girls in the country, and to see the best college game. And to get to play on the same court that the national semifinals, the national finals are held, and we had somebody like Penn State's J.J. McClendon star in this game one year, and then help Penn State win as a freshman the next as the most outstanding player in the tournament. So you could see great things in the very near future just a year down the line. Absolutely. I'm seeing a, a lot of high-level volleyball here. I'm very impressed with uh, Lexi Sun, number 15. I think uh, she's going to fill some important shoes at, at the University of Texas, and I'm excited uh, for, for her potential uh, you know, in the NCAA in the coming years. Speaking of Penn State, you were a standout there in State College, Pennsylvania for legendary coach Russ Rose. Uh, I'd love to know the contrast in the coaching styles between Karch and Russ. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, both Karch and, uh, and Coach both uh, really value the importance of, uh, of team culture and getting everybody on the same page uh, and developing trust among players. And I think that's why um, both of those, both the USA team that I've been a part of and uh, my Penn State years, we were we were successful because when we were pushed, we could look at each other. And we all we all knew that we were on the same page and, and fighting for each other. So I think uh, they share that. They're also uh, two of the best learners that I know. And you know, Coach Rose is constantly looking. How can he be better? Karch is always asking for feedback uh, from his players, and I think that's very important because it could be very easy. Those, both of the uh, Coach Rose and Karch are very successful, and uh, you know it'd be easy to just kind of sit back and, and you know do what they do. But they're always learning. Team West leading one set to none and up early in this one, five to three. Krista, looking back on your career, what advice can you give these players on the court here tonight? Maybe something you wish you would have done or just advice in general? Hi, you know, college is a, is a very uh, a special time in their lives. You know, it's the first time they're leaving home. Uh, you know, depending on how some girls are going across the country, some are just going down the road. But regardless, I think that's the first time uh, where they experience some independency and sure you've and responsibility, a heavy, you know, either you're managing school, you're managing, uh, you know, a, a Division One program and, and trying to, to be your best. So, um, you know, it's a special time. And, and I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of learning going on, but it's also enjoyable. And I think, uh, you know, I'm still, it's been great to see some of my former college teammates here, um, here at the, at the Final Four. And, you know, you really, um, you know, you enjoy those years. The, those four years you spent, did, they, did it feel like more or less when you were at Penn State? Uh, you know, I, it went very quickly. You know, looking back, I'm like, wow, that was, uh, I graduated a long time ago. So, um, you know, just looking forward to uh, now, um, you know, watching these girls and, and seeing, okay, you know, they get to experience the same thing here coming up. McKenna Patterson serving for Team West, Xavier College Prep, Phoenix, Arizona. She's going to play for Texas A&M. Well, 
Wisconsin's going to be ready to reload with somebody like Grace Loberg hitting on the left side, and they've got a, another setter coming in to just as one of their great setters in their program's history, Lauren Colleen, has finished up her college career. Samantha Drexel with the point. And this is a wise choice when you don't have something to swing at, something where the ball gets too close to the block or, uh, or far inside. The best thing to do is just keep it in play. And as we talked about before, communication is really a challenge here. They've only had a couple of practices, so they may not even know who's responsible for the short play. Wise strategy as you're trying to put the other team under stress. Callie Williams with a service ace. Hustle. Jazz Sweet. Coach and I were talking about it. One of our favorite names here in yes. this event tonight with the kill. Did you know that she is uh, one of her talents is that she juggles? Really? I read that, yes. So there you go. Kansas there's there's native. some fun with the name. Ooh. Ooh. That from Chesney McClellan. The yeah. future Nebraska Cornhusker. And we were talking about how it's not always going to look good here, but I like it when the setters are trying some fun plays and trying to connect with their quicks and running some slide behind. You talked about how you've got to be having some fun at this game. It's not just about winning since we have the skills competition and everything else going on. So. You can see him really uh, injecting some energy in when they make a play like that. I'll tell you who's having a lot of fun tonight. That's Lexi Sun. Absolutely. Another kill for the future Texas Longhorn. I love that she's uh, she's setting out of system balls. She's serving good, serving the court. She's playing defense. She's just really helping her team on all, uh, firing on all cylinders tonight. So she's been a blast to watch. Sweet and Sanders with a block at the net. Nasty blocks coming from Team West so far in this match in black. Team West trying to run away with it. Gabby Curry. Williams with the nice up. And a point for Team East as they end the run. Team East wearing the white. Entering the game on the West. West wearing the black Under Armour uniforms. Brooke Botkin from Pearland High School, Pearland, Texas. Will be headed to USC. Just checked in, wearing number 22. Jamie Cox to serve. Libero, five foot one. She'll be playing her college volleyball in Miss Lansing, Michigan for the Spartans. And some people might think five one might be a little small, but you can make up for it if you see the game well enough. So it doesn't really matter so much height in the back court if you get a good jump on the ball and a good read. And I believe we saw a player about that size a few years ago in this very event, Kat McCoy. Exactly. And now Texas pushing to try to win another national title with her running the show in the Libero spot. What a nice set. What a save there. And the kill. Kelly Williams I've been impressed with. Just putting up good set after good set, letting her hitters go do their job. Let them do the work. That was Taylor Ballard, Clovis High School, Clovis, California. Plays on the outside. She's heading to Provo. Play for BYU. All right, well, Team West already leading up one set to none in this 2016 Under Armour match. We're back in a moment. Under Armour Volleyball All-America Match and Skills Competition on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Mataflex, the first place to go for your sports flooring needs. 
Welcome back. Action underway here at Nationwide Arena. Team West trying to add to their lead. Leading one set to none. In this All-America match. Sydney Hilly, Champlin Park High School, Champlin, Minnesota. She's playing for the Badgers next season. With Kelly Sheffield. Landrum Roberts, Karch Karai. Two-time Olympian, Krista Dietzen joining us here courtside. So Rio, I have to know, you've been to London, played in those Olympics, and you participated this past summer in the Rio Games. Can you compare the two? Did you enjoy more? Well, I think, uh, you know, both locations were very different. It was really special in Rio because I think Karch said it once uh, in an interview, it's like the Volleyball Olympics. I mean, they love volleyball in, in Brazil. And we didn't even have the opportunity to play Brazil in a, in a packed house, but there was quite a few fans uh, in every one of our matches. So they made it exciting for us and uh, you know all the teams participating there. Good hustle from Grace Lober. Yeah, it's interesting because um, Great Britain is not known as a volleyball power, but certainly Brazil is. It's a huge sport there. It was a, they put on a fantastic Olympics, both for indoor volleyball and for beach. And then we're going to another volleyball crazy country in 2020. And actually, actually that's the birthplace of the Indoor Olympics. The first time the Olympics were ever held was in 1964 in Tokyo. There is even some talk that the venue, the same venue might be used for the indoor competition. So coming full circle and two, two in a row, the Olympics are in countries that know a lot and are mad about volleyball. Grace Lober for the kill for Team East. Also headed to Wisconsin, out of Geneva, Illinois, Geneva High School. Drexel finds the back left corner. Maybe you, you two can back me up on this. There was a study done, a team with the most three-point runs wins over 90% of the time. I've not heard about that one. I guess I'm gonna have to dig a little deeper into it's the a, stats here. It's a, it's a new study. <laughs> Stephanie Samady with the kill. She tries to keep her team, Team East, and in I like the, the second set. I like the pursuit by Team West in black there. That's something that all of these players going to the top-notch programs they are, it's going to be, there's going to be a very high expectation of effort, and that's something that you can control and, and have to to help your team. I love how much they're setting the middle and going yeah, for it. It's exactly. fantastic. And it doesn't always work, but this is a great venue to try try that out. Meredith Norris had a nice block for Tees there. Boom. Ashley Shook. Stephanie Samity, excuse me, with the kill. Samity has taken some huge cuts at the ball and again they've run that they ran that a little in the first set where she comes inside and the middle blocker isn't able to get over there or one-on-one -on -one situation easy kill got it in between Sanders and Botkin <laughs> with an easy one there the Minnesota's gonna be happy to have her next year or they're losing some, some key elements with the tap sisters and National Player of the Year, Sarah Wilhite. Brooke Dockton from Harriman High School with the point for Team West. No, 
That was good. No, no, no. That was good. Chesney McClellan. Yeah, as a middle hitter, a middle blocker, you've got to love it when the setters are, <laughs> are keeping those middles active. <laughs> if it's the wrong setter, you can spend a long night jumping and hoping and not <laughs> having much happen. Absolutely. Good block from Meredith Norris once again. Sweet. Samity there. Norris with a kill. I like the work of number 18, the middle in white, Karen Knuth, in that last rally. She didn't get to actually swing at a ball. She didn't get any chances, but she's working hard in transition, getting herself in the action on the block a lot. Norris cannot get that one to go. So West ends the run for Team East. Jamie Cox Jamie to serve. Left-handed opposite is a tough thing to stop. The back set with her inside shoulder in play. Oh, nice. Speaking of getting the middles going. It's very nice when, to see. I mean, these girls have only practiced with each other, what, three hours, two hours? fantastic to see them push in the middle that's not a that's a connection that's developed over time and it's fantastic that they're trying trying that now took you and alicia glass a few years to get that going and here they are in an hour or two. Oh, what a smart shot use the block to your advantage so many players are afraid to use it and make it your friend but this time, when in doubt, just push it in and, and have it bounce out of bounds. Nicely executed. Makes blockers jobs very frustrating when they're using us a lot. <laughs> that was Jazz. Sweet. Utilizing. She went up against Meredith Norris. <laughs> Sydney Hilly. That's a pretty big arm for somebody listed as a setter. She took a couple of cannon shots on that rally. The East has closed the deficit. Within six. Make it five. Trying to even this match in one set apiece. Up. Norris with the up. Paige Hammonds. Or check that. Taryn Knuth. And unfortunately, that dig just too low and shooting too close to the net. Some clubs try to emphasize that. come to cheer on their players. Taryn Knuth with that last point, playing at Florida State. Taylor 
Ballard. Pretty good kill for Team West. Set point, we still will play, regardless of the outcome of this set. A third set. This All-American game. Nice crowd here in Columbus tonight. Yeah, it keeps getting bigger every year. And I really like how they're using the exact same facility that that's used for the NCAA semis and finals. It's a big weekend of volleyball. Team East will not go away. Out of Johnston, Iowa, serving. And the point. For Team West. So Team West leading two sets to none in this 2016 Under Armour All America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition. Special thanks to Krista Dietzen. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. We're back to Columbus after this. Welcome back to snow-covered Columbus, Ohio, just outside of the nationwide arena. But inside, it's the Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition, the best hitter competition. Competitors with five chances to hit five targets. And only hit the target once from different spots on the floor. And of course, the high point total wins. And four competitors. And first, it was Jazz Sweep. And this is a little bit of a change. Some of the other years we've gone in terms of hitting power. I like this one better because it's accuracy more than power and the ability to place the ball exactly where you want it to. That's an indicator, a good indicator of a great hitter. For example, that shot, the cross body down the line shot. So that's the ability Megan to hit with The ability to hit with range. Nilon, a University of Alabama signee, and then Chesney McClellan for Team East. But it was Jazz Sweet who got it going and winning in a shootout. Jazz Sweet takes home the trophy. She stands with ABCA Executive Director Kathy DeBoer. And Chesney McClellan finishes in a close second. Very important to have a good setter in this competition. All right, when we come back, we start set number three. Downtown Columbus. Really enjoyed our week here. Look outside of Nationwide Arena. People still filing in to watch this 2016 All-America Volleyball match presented by Under Armour. If you're ever in Columbus, the North Market recommended. Lots of great food. Food from just about everywhere. And a jacket might be good, too, in December. Been crisp here, but uh, fairly clear weather. Great, great for volleyball. Great for indoor volleyball. Weather yeah. outside might be chilly. It's warm inside of Nationwide Arena. Great atmosphere. All these talented players. Come on. Nice up. From Gabby Curry. That was not an easy one to handle, Coach. No, it wasn't. Ballard. Ballard really hit a shot across the net. And you just love seeing defenders who can not only see that, see the right thing, but make the right play, make the ball stay on their side of the net. Coach, what are you looking for from each of these players showcased here tonight? Well, one of the things I like to look for uh, in the middles is their eye work. And so in that case, for example, number 24 in black, Lauren Sanders, leaned a little to her right. Watch, she goes a little bit the wrong way there in the middle, and then she scrambles. I like her effort to get back in, but she didn't make the cleanest read. And that's something that's a really high-level skill. So if you see it at this age, 
you got to be really impressed. That's something that she's going to get a lot better at over the next four years in college at Washington. Uh, what you were talking about was Grace Lober. Then on the other side, Jenny Moser. And I also like to see somebody like Sanders getting to play the whole game. She's hitting a tough serve there. She's going to come in and play some defense behind it, and she comes up with it, which is exactly what you want to see in a middle all-around play, being able to play some defense, and there it is, two digs in the same rally, and she's going to be ready to make a third. Nice. So you got to love that. Lauren Sanders with the tough serve and two great defensive plays. Not something you might expect from a 6-5 middle blocker. McKenna Patterson laughing. She knew she got away with one on that last point. Yeah. Another tough serve by Sanders. Was there a touch? The official says no. Now that the NCAA is bringing in the video challenge system, I think a few of these players would like to have that back also. Looked like a little bit of a touch. Yep. Wow, that's another nice serve. Flat and fast across the net for Sanders. I'm very impressed with that young lady. Number 11, Meredith Norris. She's played well tonight. Sure has. Got a bright future heading to Michigan State. Ashley Shook serving. The net. Taryn Knuth. Left block just going off the hands and out of bounds. And I could hear during the rally there was a call, you could probably hear it too. High cross, high cross there. Her teammates, any hitter's teammates, it's nice to have a little help letting them know, letting her know what's open. Oh, and what a nice read. That did not surprise Jamie Cox at all. I think it was Jamie Cox that was yelling high cross. And that is part of a Libro's job is to try to help her setter, uh, try to help her hitter. She's often the first one closest to the hitter to provide that coverage in case the ball gets blocked back. Would you consider the Libro, uh, for lack of a better term, the quarterback on the floor? Well, certainly the quarterback of the backcourt of the, the floor defense, the quarterback of the offense, is somebody like number nine in Black Madison, Lily, because um, she's the one who's going to make the second contact. So the ball will come over here. She runs in, and there's the quarterback setting up for hitter. But whoa, a huge block by Anna Swan. Rejection. Nice job of getting hands way across the net. Taryn Knuth. Boom. Ayana Swan. Swan credited with the block. Good hustle, but unable to get it across the net. Really not much that Ashley Shook could do with that one. Just caught her a little high. Curry unable to keep it within the confines of the court. Jenny Moser serving for the West. Kenna Patterson for two consecutive. Hawks. That one falls for the point. It's really nice to have a middle who has a nose for the ball and she's sniffing it out. More action to come when we come back. It's the 2016 Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition from Columbus, Ohio. 
here inside Nationwide Arena. Landrum Roberts and the legend, a player and a coach, Karch Karai. Excited to be back for this event. Always a special time. Under Armour does such a wonderful job of putting it on. They really do. What a great experience. Meet Terry Walsh Jennings to get to see the NCAA tournament semifinals, to get to play with some of the very best of your age in the country, many of whom you'll get to compete against for three, for four years in college. And, uh, this is a great way to start that, like a pre. Uh, a, a, an appetizer for the college career they have to come. It really is, and not just the match itself, but being on this big stage in an arena like this, yeah. with all of the in arena activities that happen in between timeouts, really gets them ready for the next level. Yeah, and getting to attend the NCAA National Semifinals has got to be inspiring. And I know when I was that age, I wanted to see people better. I wanted to see what they could do and uh, have my, eye, my mind open to new possibilities of what you could actually do on a volleyball court and then try to do it myself. Not to say that there aren't a lot of other talented players across the country, but you're right. These players, they're used to dominating. At the high school level, and just to be surrounded by so many other great athletes. And then they'll go to college next year and they'll think, whoa, everybody's good. <laughs> and then a few of them might go on to the USA team. And again, they'll think, whoa, so everybody's a valedictorian. Everybody was the best in their class or the best in their program. And that's where the challenge becomes greater. And those who are good learners and respond to some challenge uh, have great careers be it far beyond college. Talking to these players before the match, a lot of them, as you said, Coach, have aspirations to play for the USA team and even professionally. And I love hearing that. I want them, lots of players out there in college, in high school, to have those kinds of aspirations. They won't all get to earn their right to be in earn the right to be in the USA gym, but it's great to have people dreaming big. Those are the kinds of people that we need. Nice. Those are the kinds of people that USA needs in its program. There's Lexi Son again. She has put her name in the hat for MVP of this 2016 Under Armour All-American match. That was nice. Callie Williams sneaking in with the touch on two, going over the net again. Here's a look at Team West head coach Jan Barker. Barker, 30 seasons as a head coach. Unbelievable. 1,077 wins versus only 167 career losses there at Amarillo High School. Kill for Lauren Whitty, only Catholic High School mentor. Ohio. And another quick attack. Again, the setters taking some chances here and trying to run over a varied offense. She'll be playing just like that, up back quick. A couple miles down the road at the Ohio State University. Nice kill by Loberg here, Karch. Yeah, and she saw the daylight between end blocker and that late arriving middle. Lauren Sanders serves for Team West, leading by five here in the third set. Ooh. 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 Nice up by Curry in the 
half court. Gabby Curry has played the Libero position well tonight. Yep, and we, if you could hear the call earlier in the round, you could hear the middle was saying 1-1-1, one, 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 set it better, but Curry took the, bit, the best shot, came up with it. Another big swing, threading the needle again between middle blocker and end blocker. We call that hitting the daylight, attacking the space. We mentioned Jan Barker, the head coach for Team West, Ginny Case. Coach for Team East, right here in Ohio, Cincinnati to be exact, Ursuline Academy. So the 2016 Ohio Girls Volleyball State Tournament Regional Finals. Jenny Moser. Anna Swan's been putting up some pretty good blocks, but that time she had no chance. Ball contacted too high. Paige Hammonds. Hitting with some range this time around the middle blocker who was reaching to try to fill that scene. Oh, nice play at the net by McKenna Patterson. As she made a quick decision in midair. And finished it off of the point for Team West. Yeah, sometimes that set comes a little too low. And it wouldn't be wise to swing because you get blocked. She made a really nice adjustment. Good up. Addison Lilly. To save. Lilly with a set. And Lexi Sun with a finish. Giving her team. A five point lead. <laughs> Jamie Cox with a serve. <laughs> Tributes much of her volleyball skill cards to the many years she trained as a gymnast. Between Kelly Williams and Madison Lilly, Lexi Sun has had a lot of good sets to swing at. Yet another one here. You don't want to set that ball too close to the net. That puts it right next to the blocker's hands. And that's a nice job of keeping it about three feet off. Oh, really nicely executed there by Lilly going to the quick with Sanders number 24 hitting over the block using all of her six foot five advantage. Jamie Cox for the server. Jamie Cox serving for Team West. Zay Lee trying to close this one out. Sanders. Lily and Sanders really got a nice connection going, and that's in transition where 
Sanders has to work hard to get off the net from her black blocking position, get beyond the three meter line and give herself a good approach and become available as a hitter. Service ace. Service ace. Point point. Point. Trickler off the net. Set point. For Team West. Former gymnast, Amy Cox, with the serve. Another kill for Paige Hammonds. Paige Hammonds. With the kill. 14 East, number 20, Grace Lower. And number 12, Sydney Hillman. Special thanks to the AVCA for their work not only in this event, but all week long here in Columbus. Executive Director, Kathy DeBoer. Jason Jones, assistant director. That's going to do it. It's Team West winning the 2016 Under Armour All-America match and skills competition as players from both teams shake hands at the net. Under Armour Volleyball All-America Match and Skills Competition on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Sports Imports, the net system at the center of every championship. Welcome back to beautiful Nationwide Arena as we put a bow on this one courtside. Landrum Roberts along with Karch Karai. And Karch, we're so fortunate to be able to be a part of this event every single year. This year, no exception. The future stars of the game loved how the setters were working so hard to get the middle going on such short notice, very little prep time, and they made it look easy. We saw a lot of strong play tonight, but three players, they really stood out. For sure, the Gatorade Hustle Award. Jamie Cox throwing herself all around the floor. And of course, the MVP for Team East, Stephanie Samady, taking some big cuts at the net. And then finally, Lexi Sun, the MVP for Team West. Well, the future of college volleyball, it's very, very bright and beyond. We appreciate you joining us here tonight for the 2016 Under Armour All-America Volleyball Match and Skills Competition. For Karch Karai and our entire crew, I'm Landrum Roberts. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.